Hello, folks. Give me the good word in the chat if you can uh, if you can see and hear me. Oh wait, weird. This didn't stay on. This doesn't stay on all workspaces. That's weird. Whatever. <laughs> all of these words are fine. Uh, <laughs> Cool. Um, oh yeah, the wallpaper. This is uh, another view of Yangshuo, China, which of course is where the Doom Episode 1 skybox is taken from. But also, I just really love, this is called a karst landscape um, of just like these kinds of like sugarloaf shaped mountains. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, my HUD, my cam, I got my cam working just through no conscious means. I was just sort of fiddling around with different settings and stuff, and it seems to work, so I'm just going to leave it like that. It might break like right after this session, but I don't know. I couldn't figure out what <laughs> what, the, what the deal was. Oh, and I moved USB slots. I changed it around to a different USB slot. I don't know. I don't know. Um, just because I use Linux doesn't mean I don't do some voodoo sometimes and just like, you know, just magical thinking it anyway uh let's get going um let's uh yeah and yes uh it is on the bottom center of the screen as as a as a doom nod okay let's get going this is wad wednesday uh we're going to pick a completely random file off of id games and then we're going to play it uh i'm going to take our little plushy pain elemental here and i'm going to rub its head for good luck and hope that we get something cool Random file. Templo en el Planeto Rojo, Red Planet's Temple, by I de del Cule, uh, from 2013. Small temple-like map for Doom 2. New sky with red clouds. Okay, okay, yeah, this all sounds cool. Um, yeah, let's do it. Temp Rojo. I always like to check and see if there's anything else in the f in the file. Okay, looks like this is just a map one replacement. So yeah, let's jump in and oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna turn on the volume in my headphones just a little bit. Oh wait, I think, um, there we go. Get that custom sky showing up properly. Okay, um, this is pretty cool architecturally. Um, I like how the color choices and the texturing mat sync with the, um, Yeah, I probably could just make a little script that would, you know, make it so that, yeah, I could consolidate those steps. There's always there's always a cooler way to do something in shell scripting. Uh, what did that open? Okay, just further into the... Uh, yeah, I really dig this architecture. This is, this is doing something... Um, we definitely did not get a 1994 map this time. Um, yeah, this is totally custom music, and I don't recognize the tune. It almost sounds like it could be kind of a, um, like a classical piece or something. I don't know. It's, it's vaguely like Ravel's Bolero, which is just that classic piece that goes on and on and on, but I'm not sure. It's definitely not that, but... I don't know if it's from an old symphony or a score. Um, oh yeah, I really dig the. Uh, there's a lot of nice use of windows here to like you know you're always getting a view back outside even when you're even when you're inside. I dig that. I 
I am low on ammo. Hmm. It's a little dark in here. Ow. These hits can guys are chewing me up. Don't want to die. Aw, oh, man. Fireball clipped me or something? Oh, well. Well, apologies. As I redo this little section here. Uh, I quite possibly did walk past some shells. I'm going to turn down this music just a little bit. It is cool, but... These are a lot of monsters that they've given, that they're, that they're throwing at me here with, with so little with so little firepower. And I've probably got enough pistol ammo to cover these guys, but... Yeesh. Alright, get a little more of that shotgun ammo. Just trying to conserve the shells. They are what are really helping me against these kind of guys. Ugh. So annoying. Wow. I just took out all three of all all three of those imps with that last shot. Nice. Where do you come from? That's twice that little lost soul has just blindsided me. Alright. Let's save again. Uh, this is the, the little painting here. It, nice use of... I've seen this a few times now. This little inset use of the painting here. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite textures in Doom in Doom 2. Uh, as it's like... It's just a little painting of like, I don't know, like a skeleton or a person with swords or something? I don't even know, but it, it raises so many questions. It's one of Doom's most effective bits of universe building. Of low-key environmental storytelling. I have no idea what it's... Got him. Okay, well, we're low on ammo, but we're doing okay. Ah, yeah, that's chain gun. That's good stuff. All right, we're working our way up the power, the power curve here. I see a chain gunner in that next room. Whoa! All right, they're throwing more and more baddies at us. Too many monsters. Jeepers. Ah. Okay. Wow, yeah, and there's a mancubus out there who doesn't even know about me yet, but... Wow, this is rough. 
Okay, um, let me fall back a bit here, because there might be some health I can scrounge up from another area. Maybe not. Okay, that gives me a little window into, into there. Can't, can I go around this way? Oh, I see, that's a little door. Ow. That's cool. Oh, nice little secret with some uh, with some green armor in it. Okay, that is definitely something I should go and get. Something on my glasses. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm like this is definitely a modern level in the sense of like difficulty and sophistication of architecture and stuff. I'm digging it. Um, yeah, nice like consistent sort of color theming, um, texturing. Okay, I've got armor. I've got a reasonable little amount of, of health. Ah, jeez. Oh, who was that? Where did that come from? That was a very good use of a uh, mancubus. Like that one, you know, sometimes a level will use a mancubus in in an area and it just feels so straightforward to just knock him down. Whereas that mancubus specifically being up there, having like such a clear shot at this big area and being like up above you and all that, like that mancubus was really giving me a heck of a time. You know, along with the other, like I think, if 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 he had been the only monster in the area, then he would have been much easier to deal with. But all the having lots and lots of little enemies to watch out for, um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's take a look at the map. Oh, I see. Wow. So we're really in a relatively condensed interior, surrounded on all sides. Another guy down here. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess that's where we're headed next. And this is just an actual door. Got him. Good job, me. Oh man. Wish I had like a berserk or a chainsaw to take out all these pinkies with. They're not really a threat to me here, they're just like... They're just kind of chewing through my resources. Sort of little outdoor, or or no? I guess that's I guess that's indoor. There's just big windows, little library type area. This track also sounds a little bit like the uh, like the Wolf 3D uh, title screen song, uh, which. If you didn't know, historically is is uh, is actually an old Nazi song called the Horst Vessel song. It's like this patriotic march type music that um, 
is actually just like a sort of propagandistic poison pill. It's it's yeah, like if you look up Horst Vessel song, it's like it is a it has a very dark role in like the in in the history of of uh of of the of the Third Reich. Like it's 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 grim. Uh it's, I learned about it like a few years after playing Wolfenstein 3D in in I don't know, junior high or high school or whatever, and uh, yeah, it's grim. This is also this this music track is also not that, but it has like sort of a uh, yeah H O R S T um, yeah W E S S E L I believe um, I believe that is the that is its name. All right, cool. We got a we got a yellow key, and now we've got a whole bunch of demons teleporting in to give us trouble. I see a skull switch. Let's just hit that for because switch. Oh jeez. Getting boxed in. Oh, that's bad. Okay, well, that's why you don't want to uh That's why you don't want to get boxed in by by demons. Oh, oh man, they're coming from here as well. Uh, this is a well set up ambush because, like, a lot of some ambushes you can just like run out of the room and deal with them, you know, at a choke point. I mean, I was still able to do that here, which is what I'm doing right now. But, um, but yeah, that was that was rough. I think more broadly, like uh, with teleport ambushes where a teleport ambush happens like where it delivers its payload is hugely significant to like how to how it plays and and what kind of impact it has um because you know being in an, a relatively open environment like this with a whole bunch of occlusions mean that those enemies just fan out through this space and they could be coming from anywhere like it didn't really the reason i bailed out of this space to fight them back here was because like if I had tried to, to dig in and take a stand here, they would have been coming from a few different directions. They could have come from right around this corner. They could have come from right around this corner. So lots of dangerous angles there. Um, it's good. I, I I didn't I didn't recognize the name of this author, but um, this is clearly not their first rodeo. Uh, and yeah, there's some there's some clever stuff going on here. And yeah, I'm digging that sky. It just goes really nicely with the texturing and stuff. This is kind of a Doom Episode Three texturing, although that's that's a that's a Doom Two texture, so you know it's it's a mix. But they're okay. I now have the yellow key, so I can go in here. There's that mancubus that we were hearing earlier. can't leave that guy alive. It's going to cause too much of a problem later. Uh, well, this is cool. This is like this... This this building feels very brutalist. Um, this actually looks vaguely like a, uh, a brutalist modern building in uh, Boston uh, that I would pass sometimes going here and there. I forget the name of it, but uh, it's been in a bunch of movies and stuff. Um, if you just image search for Boston Federal Building, it might well be the first result that comes up. Alright, now we got a room full of... full of columns. And again, yeah, it's working that same kind of thing as in the library. It's just like lots and lots of little little spaces to uh, hide be to hide stuff in for monsters to pop out of. Ow.
Yeah, this level's quite good at uh, keeping the player moving. Um, lots of little enemies just kind of, you know, making their way around you. Now I got a Berserk Fist. I'm in business. Oh, the Super Shotgun. That is something that I needed. Thank you. Um, oh yeah, somebody pasted the uh, an image of the of that building. Um, I'm my memory of it is quite fuzzy. I haven't actually like looked at a picture of it in a while, but I don't know. I mean, anytime there's a big rectangle with some with some gills or something, then you know that's gonna be that's gonna feel kind of kind of brutalisty. Hmm. What did that do? Oh, it probably lowered this. Yep, it did. And now, I'll bet some friends are going to teleport in. No? I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, welcome. This is a, this map is interesting. Maybe now it'll... Oh, okay, hi. <laughs> Got him. All right. Definitely a declaration that uh, that they're going to keep ratcheting it, ratcheting up the uh, the scale of the combat here. Throw in an arch file at us. Okay, now. It's a little nooks here, like. That almost certainly connects back to... Yeah, that probably connects back to the, the foyer where I first entered this building from. Um, speaking of which, where did I enter this from? Not there. Did I hit this switch? Hmm, a little confused about the progression here. This really feels like a secret. Uh, yeah, there were some monsters. Um, yeah, this is. Oh, they don't. They don't title the map. Um, huh? How do I get out of here? Okay, I don't know if that. Yeah, I, I heard something opening there. Okay, all right, that's how we get out. Okay, uh, so now I guess yeah, the point of going into this building was to was to get the red key. Now we're heading back. That little lost soul is probably just a straggler. Yeah, these these kind of just all feel like stragglers. Could be wrong on that. I feel like if the the way that this map seems to do things, like if it had repopulated this with teleporting monsters and stuff, there would have been a lot more. Maybe not though. Maybe this is just maybe we're just kind of tapering down here for the. Uh, yeah, although fighting two yeah fighting two hell knights here is. There, who's moved in? In my absence. Not too tough. Aw, oh, man. How long ago did I save? Alright, I guess as I was heading back in here. This isn't, like, a Hexen theme per se. I mean, it definitely has, like, some medieval overtones, but it's using Doom's medieval-ish textures. Um... I think it, there's probably like a retextured version of this that you could do that would look pretty cool with the um, with hexen textures, though. It is also making like light use of some tech stuff, you know, like these this this little light trim texture here and this kind of ceiling thing. Those are very those are very Doom Episode One ish. Okay. Low on health. Yeah, it's just like this little cutaway, and that's how you opened up the uh, the secret with the. There's I'm at one out of four secrets. 
Okay, and where were those, uh... Oh, here's the exit. I see. Oh, there was this... I guess I could have gone into this little spot at any point. Oh, and that would have given me the shotgun. Well, that... That would have been nice. I guess I just... I don't know. Yeah, maybe I just didn't think that this was open or not. I think it was probably because, like, this is is hit that switch to open and not use to open. So I kind of looked down this hallway and assumed that this one was the same. You know, that's it's only a very minor sort of inconsistency, and I, I probably should have just tried it anyway. But yeah, uh, this map is from 2013, so yes, it's recent. And definitely, you know, has that kind of level of sophistication. Got him. Okay, well, that's the exit. Um, I guess, like, uh, yeah, and I guess fighting those two uh, Hell Knights in here was, was optional. Are they in here? Yeah. Well, I'll just go ahead and take them down. Just, um... And then I'll check the uh, monster count and see how close I am to to 100%. Um, 189 of 200, uh, and there are three secrets left. I, I am like the the one secret that I did find was uh, was nicely done, so I would kind of like to uh, to find that one. But I don't know. On the other hand, let's just keep it moving. Um, yeah, I dig this. I dig this. Um, I kind of want to, like, fly around, like, given that we've got, um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to fly around the perimeter of this here. Alright, so we've got, like, this sort of non-enterable static structure that these monsters were hanging out on. That's cool. Um, yeah, this is nice. Um, this also, like, is very restrained in terms of its usage of, uh, of detailing. Like, there's not a lot... Like, none of this detail is really fiddly. It's all just, like, you know, pretty, you know, like, standard not-too-lost-in-the-details kind of stuff. Like, this this sort of thing right here, you know, like, using this, this little thin track texture to inset that. You know, just doing, like, the little trims to, to frame the, the, the lift here. Yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't do it on the other side. But, um... Yeah, like it's it's again it's I would say it's very restrained, um, and I think that's cool. You know, people always give some guff to like hyper detail and all that, but um, oh wait, is this like where the was like was the monster ambush here? Like, yeah, I think um, yeah. So I I didn't notice it at the time just because I was like worried about you know just being inside here but um i guess those demons were that teleported into that room were actually just out here like in the open air and um and the little barrier that came down to let them all get on this bank of teleporters this is this is really interesting actually because you know this exact setup but in a closed room that's outside of the map is the usual monster teleport ambush setup so the fact that they just put it like as an outdoor feature here um is pretty neat like that's that's cool. Um, yeah, there is totally a Berserk pack above the bookshelf, and I'm not... I don't know if that was... No, I, I thought maybe... Like, I didn't... It wasn't clear to me what this switch did, but, um, yeah. What did that do? I heard something could chunk down. Oh, wait. Oh, is that just always... Oh, so maybe I hit, I hit that switch there or something? Yeah. Anyway, cool. That's one of the secrets. And here's another secret. Okay. Plasma gun would have been pretty handy. Though there was not a lot of ammo for it. Um, okay, cool. That's three out of four secrets. And I think I saw, like, there was, like, a Soul Sphere secret, like, elsewhere here. Um, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm totally just cheating this, so I feel a little bad for that. But, but yeah, somehow you get into here. Um, yeah, actually, I don't know how you get into this other than through here. No idea. Yeah, yeah, that might be it. 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, yeah, that did seem like a... Did seem like a pretty reasonable theory, but... Whatever. Uh, yeah, like a little bit of the skin texture there. That's odd. Oh, yeah, and some, some spaghetti. Cool. Alright, so, um, yeah, let me just go to the end here. Oh, yeah, is it a shoot wall? Nope. Huh. Yeah, that's odd. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it's this little switch right here. All right. Anyway. Cool. That's how that's done. All right. So let's run back and, yeah, we'll just finish this level just to say that we just to hit that exit switch. Yeah. The, like, all in all, like, yeah, four very clever secrets. Um, I have no idea where those remaining 11 monsters could be, but whatever. And here's our little friend, the painting again, just right, just tucked away in this exit room. That's interesting. Oh, cool. We got teleported to a little... Oh, cool. There's a little... little you're not quite done yet fight space. Um, if you mean the painting, no, it is, it, it's, it's just from Doom 2. Nice. All right, and then that's all the monsters. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Um, where's the actual exit here? Or is this just like... Yeah, this might be the end. This might not actually have... Oh, okay. There it was. Just a little teleporter. And we're back in Underhalls. Well, cool. That was that was a that was an enjoyable little level. That was uh, Red Planet's Temple by I Del Cule, or I have no idea how to pronounce that. But um, yeah, I okay. People are people recognize this author here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to look up uh, other maps by this author. Cool. Uh, some reviews in Spanish. I think that's yeah yeah that's definitely Spanish. Um, yeah. Yeah, good job. Misc author info, info. Spanish farmer, now unemployed. And as Dmitry Orlov would say, enjoying the decadence of a dysfunctional country. Wow, what? I I, I don't know. I don't even know enough about the uh, political economic situation in Spain to know. Oh, oh, cool. There's a there's a story here. Uh, you died yesterday, but in life were a great sinner. And as a reward for your misbehavior, including your years directing Bankia, God has sent your soul to a desolate temple in a red planet. You'll you'll meet here some new friends. Uh, that's pretty great. Okay, so yeah, like I guess like yeah, banking crisis in Spain, uh, resulting in the author's unemployment. Uh, he went and made a Doom map about it. Or, or actually, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this author is a is a he. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, good job. Uh, good job, I Del Cule. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's pick another. I've got about 25. I actually have to be somewhere uh, not too long after this, so we're gonna play right up until one, and then then I'll call it a day. Um, okay. Next is Revenant from 1996 by Stuart Lenton. This is my first finished wad ever, and it took me about five hours to do it. It got revenants, mancubuses, imps, and sergeant in it, and my favorite textures because this is my first wad. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get a very different kind of experience here, I think. Um, I kind of like the misspelling of revenant, actually. It's sort of, it's got kind of a, it's got kind of a uh, an album, a, a metal band sort of, sense to it, you know? Um, uh, yeah, the readme thinks the guy who made death, uh, D-E-T-H, -E -E is like, was like a Doom editor um, that was popular in the, in the mid-90s. Um, okay, here we are in Revenant. And yeah, we can see the author's favorite textures here.
This actually looks kind of cool. I mean, it's weird looking. Which is... Which is way better than... Than... Than nothing. Um... Getting showered with shotgun ammo here. Did that lower the little... Do I get the Megasphere now? Yes, I do. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. The switches. Loves the sunglasses skeleton switch. Texture. And who doesn't? Okay. Got a Mancubus to deal with right away here. Got him. We need a blue key. Let's go find a blue key. What did that? Oh, that opened up this. Alright, I've already kind of got all the Megasphere juice that I need. Okay, that's another blue key door. Um, hmm, okay. I guess we'll just try all these switches. Alright, that opened that up. Yeah, architecturally, I'm just gonna say that this is better than the average 1996 map. Wait a minute. What happened? Okay, another one of these guys. Oh, and there's the blue key. Um, oh man, did this door, is this door now, oh, cool, okay, well, that, that helps, um, hmm, hmm, now I have a red key, they really just handed me everything on a platter here, huh, okay, got him, I could be wrong, but this seems like it's shaping up to be a very short map indeed. Yeah, I don't even care that I'm taking that much damage. Oh, okay. So we were not, in fact, closed off to this. I think we have an unpegged, uh, yeah, texture, like door, door rail texture. Um... Oh wait, should I have, uh... Are we using the normal sky here? Yeah, okay. Should have guessed. First wad. Not doing a whole lot in terms of unique... Oh, and that was... Okay, that was like a red teleport pad as the exit. And I guess it just gives you a... Uh, yeah, yeah. so I mean, this is... Oh yeah, and a, and a sky textured pillar thing, which gives you this odd, like, window into the sky here. Um, alright, so that must be it, right? Yeah, yeah, 15, 15 monsters, no secrets. Uh, so yeah, that's super basic. Um, yeah, let's just finish this one. Like, this, this, again, like, architecturally, I feel like the shapes that the author was using here aren't, like, totally boring. Um, so that's, that's something, you know, I mean, as a first wad, like, you could do worse. Um... Okay. Uh, well, yeah, we've got we've still got some time here. Let's uh, let's play another. That was Revenant by Stuart Linton. Not not terrible as a first wad. Typical poor wad from the '90s says anonymous. <laughs> okay, just this other anon just narrating their little experience. Um, okay, Pick another random file. Uh, we got like a deathmatch map pack. An expert's deathmatch wad for those who demand the best fragging they can get. Pass. Azure Agony's Unmaker. Azure Agony uh, is the author of this map, but it's uh, they took their handle, I guess, from uh, from a Quake Episode Four map, I believe. Like it's Sandy Peterson just going bananas with the uh, with the blue, the most blue textures in uh, to be found in the Quake texture set. Um, Interesting. Okay. Oh, Unmaker. Oh, so maybe this is... Uh... 
Oh, this is a weapon mod, I guess. Yeah. This weapon is incredible, says a review. Okay, um, well, yeah, let's let's maybe pick another one and we can uh, unmaker. Okay, um, and yeah, that's from 2007, so it might be Z-Doom. Designed for GZ-Doom, not tested, not even, okay, yeah, cool. All right, uh, so we'll play that with whatever we get next that isn't a deathmatch map. Uh, village.wad from 1994 by Alex Siegel. As you wander across the surface of hell, you stumble across a village. Except for a few guards, it looks quiet enough, although the thick stone walls are a bit odd, so you decide to look inside the buildings. Big mistake. This level is all about mazes and the various ways they can be implemented. Okay. Alright, well, let's check out village.wad by Alex Siegel with Azure Agony's Unmaker. Use a, a wild uh, custom map. Um, use a wild custom weapon thingy with. Uh, okay, village. Yeah, Unmaker does sound like the Doom 64 uh, like BFG type weapon. Um, okay, yeah, this is this is vaguely suggestive of a village in that it's open and has various square buildings. Um, got some cacos. This, this kind of map, actually, the fact that this kind of map, you know, is, you know, a, a pretty typical early user map, um, I think it goes to show that, uh, sorry, just finishing off this jerk, um, I think it goes to show that, um, E3M6, Mount Erebus by Sandy Peterson, is actually one of the most influential levels of the mid-90s. Um, just because, like, you know, you can see that this author was, like, trying to create something that felt, like, kind of big and open-ended. Um, and that's the map from Doom that, by far, like, exemplifies that the most. Um, I think a lot of people saw Mount Erebus and, you know before any of the context that people have, like, oh, Sandy Peterson's maps are weird and ugly and whatever, um, I think people were looking at that at those kinds of maps at, uh, at Mount Erebus specifically and being like, yeah, that's, man, you could do outdoor spaces in this, like, real outdoor spaces. That's really cool. I want to make, like, I could make a village or I could make a city. Um, and, of course, he did make a city for, uh, for map 13 of Doom 2. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff that requires keys. Alright, now we're in one of these little buildings here. And yeah, we have not found the Unmaker yet. Let me, let me make sure that that loaded in properly. Yeah, Unmaker. Okay, yeah, we got that. We got that Unmaker in there. Uh, I'm kind of assuming that it's. Uh, kind of assuming that um, the Unmaker replaces something like the chain gun or the rocket launcher or the plasma gun or something. Um, haven't found any keys yet. We went in there. All right, I'm gonna look on the map and see if there's any... And these things have the lift texture on them, but I cannot lower them and climb on. Well, what is... Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to find, like, a door that I can actually open here. Got that blue key door, red key door... Got a little decoration stuck halfway into the terrain there. Hmm. 
yeah, maybe I just maybe I just missed something in this uh, in that building that I went into. Is there like a little switch or something that I could have hit? Can't tell if there's something up there. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat just a bit here and see if okay the red key is on top of there. So what gives? Oh oh okay. Okay now there's a there's a thing in there. That was not actually what I was expecting. But maybe that just means that I need to just mash on these. Uh... Hmm weird. Hmm. How do we get that red key? How does one do it? Gosh. Yeah, what am I what am I missing here? I don't think there's like a switch that I that I missed. But yeah, it really feels like something's got to lower that. Hmm. I'm not noticing any texture anomalies here. So yeah, what could it be? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe there is a switch outside. This is the kind of thing where I really wish Doom had, like, I mean, pie in the sky, like, a, a, a built-in level editor mode so that I could just flip into that and then just be like, what's supposed to what's supposed to lower this platform? Um, but I'll even just like a debug mode where it's like, yeah, what uh, what is this sector's tag and what's tied to that tag and whatever? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Um, gee, I'm I'm actually kind of tempted to uh, open this up. Yeah. I'm. Screw it. I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna open this up in the editor. <laughs> okay. So what lowers this? Or is there a teleport destination here, or what? I don't get it. Okay, that opens there. Yeah, yeah someone spelled out, yeah, the author spelled out their name. I, 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 I hate, like, spoiling myself on stuff that happens in here. Let's see. So we walk in here. We walk in here, and we cross these lines, and that lowers these things. Or wait, Floor to lowest adjacent floor. And that's for this sector. <sighs> yeah, which doesn't seem to do anything because this is the lowest adjacent floor. I wonder if this is just, like, broken? Does the... Oh, sadly, it's buggy for modern ports. I've completed it with slight id clip cheat to grab red key. Oh, okay. That's a bummer. Um, yeah, okay. Wow, I wonder what broke, what source ports break that um, that made this, that makes this finishable in... Um, weird. Okay. All right, well, let's jump back in. Um, okay, yeah, we'll just we'll just id clip, grab that red key. Um, yeah, I really wish I knew how that was supposed to work. Yeah, I, I could try it out in Chocolate Doom. Um, all right, let's, whoa, cool. 
Oh, that's neat. I dig that. Um... I'm definitely a fan of ambushes that raise that raise up new walls and kind of like change the uh, the play space, you know. Because a lot of times you're you're just expecting. Oh geez, did I screw myself out of some? Eh, maybe not. Um, yeah, because you know you always expect when an ambush happens for monsters to come in, but when the space changes, it makes you reevaluate what you uh what you what you think you know about it and that's cool okay so that was just that was just a random red visit to a red key place but we did not get anything out of that per se this is odd i guess we've got a whole bunch of like waist high cover here which is not helping us against any monsters, but it is restricting our movement. Cool. Oh, oh yes, okay, right. And this is, as, as promised, the uh, the author saying that this this wad is all about mazes. And yes, this is certainly a maze. I, d I don't know if we were intended to be working through this maze while we were fighting those monsters, but whoa. Oh, nice. Oh, jeez, okay. Very clever. Okay, so these, these walls remain impassable, but now I have to... Uh, now I have to find my way out of this with the walls invisible, which is... Oh, jeez, and I can't even see them on the... Well, this could get a little trial and error-y. Yeah, like, deep down, I don't think this is actually, like, a good idea. Because, like, running around in an invisible maze is not that great. But I, I appreciate the the spirit of creating wacky mix-ups. I think that's cool. Um, we have still not found one of the other colored keys. I needed that. I needed that berserk. I hear a Baron. Oh yes, uh, making a making it just making an invisible wall like that. Um, that is definitely something you can do in Vanilla Doom. Uh, one of the surface flags is uh, is impassable. And you can use it on anything. You can use it on a window. You can use it on, uh, you know, just a line, a line def right in the middle of a room. Where's that Baron? I heard that Baron. Harvest the shotguns. All right, well, can I get back out of here? I'm very curious as to the fate of that Baron. All right, now we're running around. Back out in the out in the village exterior. Okay. Yep, this is yep, that's a, that's definitely a maze. Do I am I meant to Oh, okay. So lifted me up to another tier of this maze. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, 
running around in a rectilinear maze like this is never going to be too much fun. But, you know, I think it's with if you if you use the Z axis a little more, which we're which they're doing here, and you know, you sort of position the monsters in in an interesting way. I think that's I think that's cool. I think that's valid. Um yeah, alright. And yeah, now we've got all the keys. What's going on here? Is it bringing down little grid-shaped... Maybe that was, like, giving us a look at... Oh, yeah, we've got little arrows on the floor. There's definitely something tricky going on. I have no idea, like, if there is a beyond that arrow that we saw in the first cell. Um, yeah, I have no idea if there's, like, a right way through this or not, or if I'm just, whatever, just navigating, but... Oh, cool. Okay. So the point of that maze was to get the plasma gun. And then is this just going to let us back out, or... Probably not, huh? Okay. Well, neat. Yeah. Th that was a valid maze. Okay, so it looks like all we have left to do is go through the blue key door. heard something lower. Who's shooting at me? Gotta watch that Baron. <laughs> I love this face wall. I love the the hell faces. Just a room, just a freestanding room made of them inside of this larger space. That is that is very much something that people did with Doom maps in the 90s if they were halfway creative. Alright. Is there anything up there besides this little turn on all the lights power up? Nah. I like this, uh, yeah, just this weird, like, I guess it's a crate stack, but it's it's more like a little crate ziggurat. It's just strange. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we're outside, but we're up on like a little, little a second tier here. Yeah, no unmaker gun. Um, good point. Yeah, um, I'm gonna give myself the BFG and see if that. Huh, weird. Yeah, that did not seem to, uh,. Okay, yeah, this is just the Unmaker from uh, Doom 64. Yep, this is exactly what it looks like and how it behaves. Uh, so yeah, that's... Yeah, it's playing the spooky whispers noises. And I guess we're at the end of this map. Yeah, there's, f there's four enemies left. Are we going to have the creepy whispering? No, okay, it's it's, it's done.
I thought that was going to be with us for the rest of the map. Okay, um, well, yeah, this is, uh, I think we're at the end of the map here. Um, there are some secrets that we didn't find, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, that's not a bad, uh, yeah, and it's just about one o'clock here, so that works out nicely. I so yeah, like in terms of the of the geometry, like this map is uh yeah, is being somewhat inventive. Um, you know, within I, I feel like the this author like kind of had a certain level of mapping sophistication um that was, you know, common among new WAD authors, but they were yeah, like they were doing you know, they wanted to do different interesting stuff. You know, they were just trying out different ideas. Um, and when you have a map format like this, where it's just a whole bunch of buildings that each have their own gag in them, um, you can do that in a way that's pretty cool and freeform and, you know, just try out whatever. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's neat. I, I approve. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and finish that off. And now we're back in E1M2. Cool. Well, yeah, I, I agree that we did have a good crop of levels today. That was Village by Alex Siegel, uh, May of 1994. So that definitely would have been one of the better maps that had been released, you know, within the first, we we're basically in the first, you know, three or four months of Doom mapping as we know it uh, at, at, at this point in 1994. Uh, so yeah, good job. That level was all about mazes. I like this review. Astonishingly enthusiastic old school map with a gameplay which is still thrilling and hard with 190 monsters and smartly balanced ammo. Sad, sadly, it's buggy for modern ports. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, nice. Very nice. Um, and yeah, the Unmaker was pretty much exactly what you would expect, but uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, that was cool. That was, I agree, we did get a good haul of, uh, of maps today. Um, so yeah, that's good for just like a good solid high quality hour of streaming and now I have to go off to my appointment but uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and uh, join join us next time for another WAD Wednesday thank you so much for watching and have a lovely week <laughs>